All right, I'm gonna do some testing and see how this goes. Um, yeah, the one thing is I got, if I look up there, it doesn't look like I'm looking for you. So that's for one thing. Right now I'm using the microphone from the camera. So this camera today, uh, let's see, I already did all these testings. I already did all these testings, so I'm gonna erase them all. But I'm gonna keep this. Actually, that's the information that's the most important, I guess, from the yeah, so these numbers were from the from the test that I did of like uh, what people could see on the with the with the camera that was tested before. Just so I could see, like uh, I was talking to people on the other end and saying which number can you see better, and then that's the same for here. And then I had like a different speeds. Uh, so I'm gonna leave this here because this is data. So it's this square. All right, so this is actually the practical guide. Practical guide of how to teach a class using a whiteboard and Zoom. All right, so I'm Rodrigo again. So what is this square? This square that is exactly, um, let's see, uh, let's say four foot and a half. Come on, try it out on me. As a good teacher, I actually carry my. So I have like a four and a half this way. And how much this way? Let's see. In the vertical axis, I have, let's say, I'll go for like a three feet. And I got. Let's keep for like a three foot and a quarter. So this was pretty much with the same distance with the camera. Uh, I had to shift a little bit the my whiteboard, but this is a eight by four whiteboard. That's actually a divider. Uh, if you have questions, you can ask. And I can link to the where we bought it from. Uh, pretty good deal that I found. Uh, so this one is actually the effective area, like the area that you can use to teach this square. When you use a, when you use a Logitech C920. Because that was the camera that we're using before. I'm sorry if you want to step out of the video. But, uh, all right, so this was the camera that we were using before. You know, but very interesting is like a, on the, on the, on this side of the camera, or actually on this side of the camera, it's very blurry and I bet that's because of this logo right here. Because this logo like a, doesn't allow enough like a light to get into the, to the sensor. So then it's kind of blurry on this side. So that's why like a, when I had, um, I could actually capture this screen all the way to here with this Logitech. But actually this end was blurry. So then actually this became my effective area because I wouldn't be able to use, because I wouldn't be able to use uh, it otherwise. Yeah, I'm sorry if the sound is bad, but like I, I have to test the, the sound quality of the, 
of the microphone and the camera. Uh, so for audio, so far I'm still with the body microphone because that's like that's the best that I could find for now. Uh, but I just received this camera, so that's why. Uh, uh, all right, so and this one is one that we already had, like uh, on campus. So right now, this one that, that they're looking at is actually the next generation, I guess, is the C930E. I paid, let's see, you cannot find them, uh, you cannot find them uh, through Logitech's website because they are, they're just out of it because like, people are buying so many of them. But like, uh, this should be like a $200 camera. Cool. All right. Um, I think this one would be able to find for like $100 or so. Uh, so like, uh, as I said, pretty much we're able to see the whole whiteboard. So like, uh, let's see where this, oh, let me, right now on Zoom, actually this is like a kind of like a, not a trick, but like a, it's like something that Zoom has, like it's kind of weird. Right now, I can, I can see myself there. My screen is not, so the screen is not on full screen. I just see like a Zoom window recording. Um, so the, I can see from, so supposedly this is the end of my screen here. And And this is the end of my screen right here. All right? But I bet that's not for you. You know why? Because like a, <laughs> that's something that I noticed before. If I go to full screen, then actually this is what the students see. Uh, and I can see that you can see all the way to here where my whiteboard ends. And you can see all the way to here where my whiteboard ends on the other side. So actually, I have a use of like 100% of my whiteboard. I know that like a, that just happened, you know, the, the autofocus, and that's gonna happen as I move back and forth. But it just takes like a, a couple of seconds to actually adjust back to like a, the best setting. So if you move a lot as you teach and you get in and out of the camera, then that's going to happen more often. If you're more steady, you know, I'm, I'm more active, you know. So like uh, for this one, we can see pretty much the whole 8 feet by 4 feet of effective area. For instruction, and I teach engineering, so I would surely invested $200 on this one. Uh, I actually have one extra one that's just in. I have this extra one that's just in. Uh... <laughs> oh, it's weird. Oh no, we have to that. And supposedly is even the next generation. That's the Brio 4K. So actually I'm gonna pause the video and switch the camera. And then we're gonna see how this goes with the Logitech. Because the, the actually the Brio, why am I doing this? Because then the next one is going to be a $300 investment. Like a, if you're putting one of these rooms together, maybe a hundred bucks is not the main, like the thing that's going to kill you. But, um, 
if this like a uh, coronavirus lets them to fall and people are moving on to like uh, cameras and you have to put together like a 10 pitching stages like this because like uh, all all that i'm doing is to uh advocate in favor of my what i call my teaching studio i would say all my because if we keep standard like a, if we get like a, a very a high quality camera very high quality i have you guys on the feedback here so suppose they'll be able to see students all over um and i see if i if i write something that's like a like this and then i look there and say wow i can't see if i can see you can see so that's the so that's the thing so like then i can if i have the video feedback i can actually go ahead and adjust you know and then now i think it's big enough so you can understand what i just wrote uh, yeah so actually that's the uh, so i'm just doing the testing so i understand what's the best equipment and what the investment needed you know engineers work on data so i'm just collecting data cool so i'm going to stop the video the camera so like uh, the one thing is that uh this guy so fob is stands for field uh geo so like it's how wide you can see on the so like a, this guy supposedly has 78 degrees the logitech camera has supposedly 90 degrees like a, the the c 130 e so like a, it gives you like a more amplitude when uh or like a, you can look at a wider screen the thing is the one thing that i noticed is like this if you position the camera here so imagine that this is the camera you would imagine that the field of view is actually symmetric so whatever you have on this side is whatever you have on that side right so let's say 90 degrees you'd have like a 45 degrees this way and 45 degrees that way but that's not true you know i would say this is the middle of my screen and i have let's say three feet and a half going this way and whatever is left going to the other way to get eight. So uh, I would have four feet and a half going this way. So actually this guy is more like this. So these angles are different. So this will be the standard. That's not a big of a deal because we don't see, I can see what you see, and I don't see any letters. If, the, if you cannot understand the handwriting, it's because you cannot understand my handwriting, but it's not the fact that like a, any, of the, any of what I drew is distorted in any matter. Uh, so this one, for this, if this is like a no distortion there's no distortion for the k uh, like a a p so this is like one thing that i noticed about this camera now i'm gonna switch like i'm gonna stop the video and switch to the brio and then uh we're gonna see what's gonna happen you know i can keep the, the recording going on so like a this is a used camera 
can see as well. So like this is the Brio. I'm gonna just, uh, uh, this one is USB-C. I hope they send people. Good. So this one uses USB-C. Uh, wow, if I had a USB-C to USB-C, I could go with the USB-C of my computer, but it's not. So let me disconnect this guy. Oh, uh, so the default microphone switched to the my computer's microphone because before I had the so like the this is the C nine hundred thirty E. It's brand new. I did. I don't like brand new stuff. I hope if I didn't choose if I don't choose this one, I can return it. So, all right. So very minimal impact on the camera from the test. And uh, let's try to go with this one. Uh, huh. One thing about this one is that uh, it doesn't have the mount. See, I mount this guy on the on the tripod. See the tripod there. So that's how I've been standardizing the distance. And uh, but this guy doesn't mount on a tripod. Is there a manual or something? Oh, there is. Actually, this thing goes on the tripod mount. So how do I take this off? Supposedly it's like this. No, it doesn't look very good. See, I'm just following the, uh, so this one says, just twist this, it's gonna pop off. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's kinda like a, seems like it's gonna break. If I pry it off, I'll try to pry it off. Yes. Yeah. So supposedly, this guy goes right on the mount. See? Oof. Yeah. The manual is right. So I'm going to mount this guy exactly where. Uh, I'm out everybody else. See, changing one variable at a time. How engineers do stuff. Uh, all right. So this guy's gonna go right on the mount. Right there. I might adjust the height a little bit, just because that camera had like a weird angle unless I took off the original packaging. I'm gonna just make it straight. And now you guys are gonna see. Oh, no, you're not. You guys are gonna see in first hand how good this guy is. Does it work? Uh, 300 bucks? Hmm? I think. So, Logitech Brio. All right, there it is. Uh, the microphone is from the Brio. Cool, so that's what I wanted. Uh, field of view is pretty similar. Like, uh, we actually got a little bit more, maybe some extra inches. Uh, let me see. Let me adjust.
is this tutor? It was good enough. Yeah, I can play that later. All right, but uh, let's see. I'm gonna walk out and in. Let's see. What I'm gonna try is try to get the the out of focus. Let's see if I come here. Wow, that's that stuff. That's good stuff. Look, even though I come with my hand here, it keeps it focused on the on the whiteboard. Wow, that's amazing. So let me see. Let me show something right here. Wow, it doesn't switch from my whiteboard. Let's see if, if it understood. Wow. So I understand that with this camera, I could uh, adjust the autofocus. There's the, um, I'm gonna write that one again. So, there is what they call the um, Logitech uh, gaming software. Make sure that you get the latest one because if you go on the website, the first one that it gives to you is the eight point whatever version, and only above not like nine, it's gonna have this feature. So when you connect the camera, it's gonna, like the camera's gonna show up on the, and then you can change settings inside of the camera. But the thing is, even though on the autofocus, you can actually turn it off for these two cameras inside of this software, every time that you unplug it, you plug the camera back on, you have to go there and adjust again. And that's something that I'm not, I'm not a very big fan of, uh, considering that like a, many professors would be using the same setup. So like a, there are people that are more into technology. Let me see. There are people that are more into technology. There are people that would less into technology. So like a, they're gonna, uh, like a, I would rather not give them that feature, you know, like a, playing with like the settings. So, uh, so this guy is yes, but to turn off, you have to go on the, this guy is actually has autofocus. And this guy, I believe that it has autofocus too, but I don't know if like a, it's made for seeing something that's far away. So you pretty much adjust or if the camera understands already that this is uh, is content and it locks into the content. So uh, I would say in the out of focus feature, this is my winner. Oh, not that one, that one is nothing. Let's see, which one is the winner? Uh, so this guy actually gave me a little bit more. So like, let's say eight feet plus some change and uh, four feet plus some change of effective area. And this is the Logitech Brio 4K. And this is a $300 investment. And uh, based on me keeping the camera pretty much in the exact same place as the C930 was, I believe that the field of view is, is, is the same or even a little bit like bigger. So, you know, 
I think worst case scenario, coronavirus stay around, stays around. I think three hundred dollars is not a big deal, and I'll go with this camera. It's like a now I have to test the audio because if this guy gives me like a good audio, so I don't have to buy a microphone, then that's pretty good. So I think I'm gonna erase this a little bit. So I'm gonna, like just this. I'm gonna put just this. Just so I remember where this square was. And then I can erase this square. All right, so now I know where the square was. And I know where to put the square back. If, if I have to. So, so this is for video, video wise. So this is the test of these three cameras. I still have to check the audio of the cameras. Using the audio mini, I wanna see um, how good is the microphone picking up on that camera. Cool. I, uh, and just like a, one thing, I wasn't, I was not a very big fan of this, the audio for this camera. So this one is not my favorite for sure because my computer pick it up better uh, audio quality than the than the first camera that I tried. But I believe that like a, this these guys are made for conference. Actually, especially this one. This one I think is made for conference. So this one is so high end that even if you even if your university has like a lot of money and they decide to go with the the new thing, you know, the new thing is the Microsoft content camera. If you Google it, it's pretty neat. However, there might be like subscription costs and like a, so what, what I'm trying to do is like a, we already have the Zoom account or you can get like a free Zoom account and stay under 40 minutes. Like a classes that are long, like longer than 40 minutes, people would sleep on it anyway, I guess. So, um, so I'll, I'll try to fix my investment on setup and not on some big feature or some big software, you know, I'm not a big fan, big fan of like a proprietary software myself. Uh, yeah, so like, let's check the audio and then I can uh, post on the, what's the audio quality like. Actually, like, uh, you guys can hear right now and that's a feedback that I don't have. Uh, so uh, I will have to like end the recording, stop my meeting and then like uh, check the audio. Yeah, thank you.